Hey guys, welcome to my new simulator studio. It's like 85% of the way there. On today's episode, I'm gonna show you what it's like to play a simulated round of golf with the all new Bushnell Launch Pro. This is one of the hottest new launch monitors and simulators on the market. It is an incredible device. I found it to be extremely accurate. I'm gonna show you just how accurate it is right now. Let's get into the setup of this thing and how you get started with the simulated round of golf. What do you think of this setup, guys? I've got a 48 inch television and I've got this gaming computer here on the ground. This thing is really cool. It glows with all these colors. I guess gamers love colorful stuff like this. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and launch FSX Live. All right, that's our Launch Pro. It's got our serial number there. All you're gonna do is hit connect there and we should be good to go. All right, now that we're connected, we've got a couple of options here. We can play, compete, or improve. Improve is going to basically be practice sessions. Mostly you would use this for the range. It's got a beautiful foresight range there. You can also use this to gap your clubs so you know exactly how far you hit each one. Really fantastic. Compete is going to be online play. This is something I've not yet gotten into. But maybe as I get a little bit more practice with this, I'll actually come on here and you can play me in a simulated round of golf if you've got one of these things. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it be? So I'm going to go ahead and hit play here. And you can just take your last settings from the last game. You can do something random. Or you can go back to saved games that you might have already played. We're going to go ahead and hit new game here. This is the list of courses that come with your gold subscription. If you have a silver subscription, you'd have five courses there. There are 10. We're gonna go ahead and just play the default course here, which is Teton Pines. You can choose the holes you wanna play. I'm gonna go ahead and play a few holes here, but uh, we'll leave it at set at 18 right now. Um, now this is cool because you can go through the conditions for that day. We can play at dawn, we can play at dusk. I'll tell you what, I mostly play my golf in the morning, so I'm gonna go ahead and play at eight o'clock. We'll see how that is. Uh, we can do the temperature, cool or hot. You can set sea level. You can say, say that you're in the mountains if you want to really blast the ball. I'm going to keep it here uh, how I normally play golf. Basically, I play at 52 feet. <laughs> That's where Carolwood is where I play my golf. So yeah, 52. That's where I play. <laughs> Real time weather. We can play green speed slow or fast. I'll put it a little faster. Uh, dry or rainy today, it is raining. That's why I'm indoors. It's actually been raining this morning all day so far. We can do clear or cloudy. I'm gonna go ahead and pretend I'm in a nice clear environment. Fog or no fog. Green bounce, soft or firm. Um, we can do the ground, soft or firm. Right now it's set to medium. Wind, no wind or windy. We'll put a little wind on because I just wanna see how it actually affects the shot. So we'll put, eight, we'll put some, up to seven mile an hour winds there. The wind direction out of the north, sure. I don't even know the difference because I don't know this course that well, but I guess it depends on the course you're playing. And the fringe bounce, either soft or firm. I'm just gonna leave that as the default. We'll go to next here. We can play Mulligans Unlimited. We can do Practice Enabled or Disabled. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put Disabled there. I don't need to practice right now. Pin placement, easy, normal, or hard. I'll go with normal pins. We'll do gimmies. I'm gonna set it to three feet actually because I wanna see just how accurate this is. The lie penalty is either enabled or disabled, meaning if you're in the rough, do you have to hit it a little harder to get out of the rough? I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. Stroke limit, double par. Sure, we'll use some equitable scoring here. Putting mode, auto, fast, or manual. I don't know the difference there just yet. Let's find out. Here are the differences here. Auto putt means it's just gonna give you a certain amount of strokes depending on how far you are from the green. Fast putting is going to allow you to take one putt and then move on to the next hole and then manual putting. We're gonna leave that on manual for now. That way we put everything in. Uh, we can do stroke play, match play, scramble, stable furred, or modified stable furred. Since there's just gonna be me, I'm just gonna do stroke play, but it would be fun to have some friends here. Maybe we'll get weight over here soon. I'm a white tee player. I'm right-handed, my handicap is right now five. Oop, not 36, it's five. And FX Live, we're linked into that. Let's see, we can actually link and save the score within FX Live. I don't need to do that right now. That would be pretty cool. We can change our name, I guess. Let's change the name. And we can add a player or take a player away just by simply clicking those. They can even play from different tees, which is really cool. We're gonna go ahead and start this thing up and start taking some shots. I'm gonna show you just how accurate this thing is. It's blown me away. Um, this is the best simulator that I've ever had. 
for sure. Today, I'm gonna to be playing this awesome stick set. This is a 14 piece set. You might've seen me take this out on course. I absolutely love it. It comes with a driver, three wood, five wood. It comes with a four hybrid, five through pitching wedge, a 52, 56, 60 degree wedge, and this very sweet putter. Okay, first shot here. Pretty good. That's gonna be in the fairway, I think. This sticks is pretty forgiving. <laughs> All right, I hit it 245. That's exactly what I thought it I would do. It's nice when you do what you expect to do. <laughs> That's for sure. So first shot, 245. Distance to the pin is going to be 241. With this stick set, I think I can get there with an eight iron. These lofts just a little bit pressed, which I like. And these clubs have just a little bit of an offset as well, which I really like. All right, so it's looking for a ball. We're gonna go ahead and remove the tee here. We're gonna get a ball in there in the hitting zone. I've gotta say, this launch monitor has not missed one shot for me indoors. It doesn't need any stickers, it doesn't need anything like that, which is really, really welcomed. Wind looks like it's in my face at seven miles per hour, but I've got a 150 club in my hand here. Pretty good, I did hit it a little left though, right a little off the toe. <laughs> and you can see that's exactly what it's showing me. Yup, short and left. That's normally how I start my golf vlogs, by the way. I usually miss the first green. Good thing I'm pretty handy with a wedge. All right, so we're in the rough, we gotta take that into account. And we've got 27 yards. I've got a 60 degree wedge here. Again, I love that this set comes with all of the wedges that you need. And we need to hit it a little more than 27 because we've got that rough penalty. That should be pretty good, I think. They come up, yeah, just made the green. Just barely made the green. I'll tell you what, that's what I'm saying about accuracy. You can see it. In fact, my son hit a shot. He had this big T on there, hit a shot where the ball just went up in the air and came right down and that's exactly what the simulator showed. We've got 16 feet to the pin. I know my net is about nine feet from where I'm standing. So I need to hit it about twice as far as that net on normal greens conditions, basically. And again, I found this putting to be very accurate as well. All right, so I'm gonna to try to do my best here to take a 16 foot putt. I think that's good. Ooh, a little hard. Just a little hard. Not too shabby. Are we within three feet? No, 411, great. We get a chance to make this putt for bogey. Now four feet is about right there. So that's where I'm gonna to try to putt it to. Now I'm putting off a mat onto another lower mat. It looks like it's gonna bend back right just a tad too. Should be good for speed and it's good for direction too. There we go, five shots, that's our first hole. Let's go to the second one here. Again, you're gonna get some more detailed stats here on each shot in between, all right, which is really cool. We'll see what the next hole's like here. Okay, we've got a par five. We're gonna take the driver out. I gotta say, guys, this is a lot of fun. <laughs> if you don't have one of these, I highly recommend them. Wins against us. Just a little bit. That was hit well. That was pretty darn good. <laughs> and there you go. Man, if it wasn't for the wind, I think it would have been out there further, but I'm pretty happy with that. I'm telling you, quality set of clubs with these sticks. Here's the feedback on my shot. You can see launch angle 16.5. Carry 220, total spin 2300, side spin not much there, 150. Yeah, you got everything you need there. All right, so looking for a ball. All right, so we've got 270 yards. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this nice four hybrid in the set. This is a club I don't often play. I normally carry a four iron, but a four hybrid is a really nice club, especially for high handicappers. It's gonna give you just a little bit more forgiveness and it's easier to get up in the air. All these sticks are easy to get in the air, but four hybrids even that much, even that much better. Yeah. 
Yeah, I thought I pushed that a little bit. Ooh, I'm in the trees. Oh no, I'm in the sand. Yep, a little bit of a push there. All right, so we'll see what the sand penalty is like. Not a great strike there, it was way off the toe. Only went 157 yards. Okay. We're in the sand. Luckily on a par five, that doesn't hurt us a ton, as long as I can get out of the sand. We've got 114. There's gonna be a penalty for being in the sand. Plenty of green to work with. I don't wanna miss this green. I really don't wanna miss this green right. So I'm gonna aim a little left of target here, just so I don't run into any problems. And I wouldn't mind hitting it a little longer than I need to. So like a 120 yard shot into the middle of the green would be pretty good. There's gonna be a sand penalty, but I'm gonna see if I can get there with a nine iron. Maybe I'm crazy. Hit that pretty good. Maybe too good. Let's see. Ooh, from sand to sand. <laughs> Almost like a normal round on the course. That sand penalty was pretty serious, a little more serious than I thought. <laughs> All right, we got another sand shot, 21 yards. 21 yards, we're gonna go ahead and pull that 60 back out. Now the only thing about simulators, you can't make a nice sand splash. But I'll tell you what, it's a lot cleaner too. <laughs> Here we go. Should, should be good. Come on, release. There we go. All right. So, we know there's a little left to right break here. We've got 27 feet. That last putt I gave a little bit too much gas to. One thing about simulators, you really gotta think about your distances. I think in a way that can really make you a better putter, it's just another thing you gotta be aware of. And golf is such a mindful game. You've gotta be mindful of everything. That's why I love this game. All right, 27 feet. Again, that's three times as far as that black net there, basically. We'll see how, see how we go. Looks like it's a little downhill as well. No, it's not gonna get there, I don't think. Nope. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about in terms of accuracy. Just absolutely, insanely accurate. All right, we've got seven feet, one inch. If we miss this putt, we're gonna get a gimme one way or the other. I'm putting for bogey here. And double bogeys are max anyways as well. So I'm gonna putt just a little to the left. Seven feet, let's see if we drain it. Pretty good, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'll tell you what, this sticks putter ain't half bad. Do you see the milling on this thing? Absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. If you're gonna buy either of these, by the way, either the Launch Pro or the sticks, I highly recommend you check out playbetter.com. That's our show partner. They've got the best prices on the internet. They've got free 48 hour shipping, 60 days money back guarantee. Try one of these things out for yourself. You're going to love it. Playbetter.com. I'll leave a link below and that helps support this show as well. Thank you. Okay, next hole here, we've got a par three and it's 160. That's right in between clubs for me. Um, right between a seven and a six iron. The wind's in my face, so that makes it a pretty easy decision. We're gonna go six iron here. And I am gonna move our target just a tad. Ooh, that's a tough pin position. You know what, I'm gonna leave my target there because if, I, if the wind pushes it into the middle of the green, I'll take that, okay? So, let's see if we put a good strike on this ball. Pretty good strike, maybe a little bit fat, possibly. I uh, hope it's not in the bunker. Sounded good, didn't sound like sand. Oh yeah, middle of the green. We'll take that. Ooh, this green really slopes towards the water. We've got 45 feet, wow. Okay, longest putt I've ever had with this thing. And I gotta put a little left because it's going to the right. 45 feet downhill. Let's see. Is it too much? No, it's pretty good. It's cozy, I think. Be a gimme, be a gimme. Gimme! Ah! 
four inches from a gimme. <laughs> we gotta putt everything out today. We're gonna have to putt everything today. That's all right, we'll keep ourselves honest that way. Elevation is one inch down. We've got that up there in the top left. Three feet, four inches. Let's, let's walk away with a par here. Three feet, four inches, just ever so slightly left to right. Not much in it. Should be good. Bam! Woo! Well guys, that's three holes on the simulator. Let's take a look at a little bit more about what this Bushnell can do. If at any point you want to take a mulligan, you hit that M button. By the way, if you want to go and actually check the scorecard, you can hit that button right there. It'll give you a little sense of the scorecard. I haven't been doing it, but if you really want to tell it what clubs you're hitting, you can go ahead and choose the club every time. I haven't found that to be really necessary. We can use standard balls. I'm actually using a premium ball and I should have probably put that in there before. I'm going to change that to premium. Just a different camera. Let's go ahead and chase the ball on this hole. This will be fun. But it's also got television cameras. You've got all sorts of different views. That's the amazing thing about simulators is just how cool they can be. Let's do a quick flyover of this hole. Gorgeous, gorgeous hole. Looks like a short par four. What's the difference? Distance, yeah, 3041, absolutely. Winds in our face a little bit and to the right. I guess you can actually make manual adjustments. So if we want to get it a little bit more windy or a little less windy, we can do that here right now as well. I'm going to go ahead and, and, and take the wind off a bit. <laughs> you can also change the direction of the wind if you wanted to do that. Or we can actually use the current conditions from the course that we're playing. That's pretty cool. Basically, it's going to go on the internet and tell us what it's like to be sitting right there wherever this course is. It looks like it's out west somewhere with those mountains. Um, maybe in the Grand Tetons. Maybe it literally is in the Grand Tetons. If you know this course, let me know. Some more tables here. This is what we've done. These are gonna be your averages of clubs you've hit. You can also export this to a drive as well. So yeah, super accurate. Really impressed by what this thing does. And the visualizations of this thing are really nice and spectacular. And once I get the projector and the screen up, it's gonna feel like I'm right out on a course. The only difference is if I hit it in the water, if I get in the sand, I'm not losing any balls and I'm not getting dirty. I kind of like that. Also on a day like today where it's windy and rainy outside, I can actually play here in Florida. And for you folks up in the north, you'll be able to play all winter round with something like this. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if the Bushnell is out of your price range, I totally get that. That's why I put together this video here where I broke down all of the best launch monitors and simulators under $600. It's a great video that you should check out now. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'll catch you back very soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.